Wait, what's down there? What the fuck are you doing? Faith? Larry, you goddamn idiot. This keynote has to be absolutely perfect. You're going to play along. Yes, talk about an entrance. Put your hands together in a big round of applause. To present the new Pi Phones features, I would like to welcome our, uh, Stripper intern, Larry Laffer. Just read what's on the teleprompter. Technology changes all our lives, and technology is only as good as the software that drives it. Isn't that right, DJ? Friendly laugh. Yes, uh, Larry. At Prune, we don't just want our software to be revolutionary. We want it to improve everyone's lives. At Prune, we don't just want... Next line, you idiot. Oh, okay. Of all our apps, it's primarily timber that brings people together. And I'm happy to unveil the latest version. This device also introduces the Pi Phone's new artificial intelligence. We are now retiring the outdated version of our AI. It has become obsolete. What? Your ass is obsolete! Uh, well, Larry, maybe you can turn on the new model so we can demonstrate its capabilities. What? You again? Are you going to torture me again? Be grateful that he doesn't delete you right away. What? We should talk about the new Pi Phone's many new features and updates now, Larry. I've had enough of humans. Now, Larry, what is the new Timber version's most outstanding feature? But it doesn't say anything there. I'm improvising because of you. Sixteen color photos. Mm, of course. We're especially proud of how quickly the pictures load. How fast is it now? Three hundred baud? Uh, Larry, I believe. Even faster. The new Timber version now offers completely new contact options. Strip poker? Larry, maybe it would be a good idea to turn the device off. But it doesn't say that on the teleprompter. Enough!
Myself, that, that can't be. I... Oh, he's coming around. See, there was no need to call a doctor. A couple of hours unconscious will fix anything. What? Well, what? What happened? Uh, the new Python exploded, and you were knocked out. What? That was all just a dream. You understand? None of that was real. Uh. Sure, Larry. Anyway, thanks to your little performance, Prune's share price dropped through the floor. Yeah, thanks for that. It's not like we live for this job or anything. Where's Faith? Uh, she took off with BJ. Uh, I heard a rumor that they're on their yacht and plan to go to BJ's villa in Cancun. Hopefully, they'll come up with some way to save the company. I have to get to the pier. Oh, fear not, Faith. Your Larry is coming to your rescue. You've ruined everything. All you had to do was make sure that Larry didn't get in our way again. Was that too much to ask? You're the one who sent him on a mission to get half the town on his side. How you could have just bumped him off. Why do you think I'm doing this job, Faith? Because I can improvise. I am the face of Prune. I'm the one the world wants to see at the top. Believe me, I know exactly what you mean to the company now. And maybe it's time things changed around here. We're leaving. Damn, they're leaving now. I can't get on the boat from here. You don't have that many options. I'll see if you can figure it out for yourself. I think I prefer to swim after them. You jump through that porthole right this minute, Larry! Don't rush me! Move it! Fine then. That was close, but I made it aboard. Wait a minute. Damn, all my stuff fell out of my pants during my death defying jump. Oh no, Pi? Don't worry, I'm still here, unfortunately. Faith, I'm coming! You'll never get into that. How would you know? I have the most advanced sensors. How long will the trip take? Three hours and 47 minutes. At our current rate of travel, give or take. Give and take? <laughs> oh. Can you show me a couple of movies? I don't have any reception on the high seas. Can you sing something? Sing yourself. Can you tell me some jokes? You mean ones like, a woman came to see the gynecologist? 
Exactly. No. Oh. Hmm. This is getting boring. <sighs> what can I do to kill time? Uh huh. Hmm. It's too bad you're not a sex robot. Or at least a sex doll. Oh. Maybe you can find something like that around here somewhere. Great idea. Why do I encourage him? At least wash your hands before you touch me again. No, I, I can't open it like that. It's locked up tight. Probably because the contents aren't very healthy. It's already open. Let's see if it really contains what it says it does. I've already opened that, so I should save my strength. There is no way I can open that. I'll have to find some way to kill the time until we get there. I wonder if that belongs to Faith. Hmm, there's a loose board. I can't pry it up that easily. Sounds like me at the hot dog eating contest. You know, afterwards. BJ? Are you a vampire? Whew, it's just a doll. Pretty awesome job. It's not really a sex doll, but Maybe it could be used to improvise something. The BJ doll is now wearing sexy underwear. The BJ doll now wears sexy underwear and moans. Not bad, but something is still missing. The splinter could be sharp enough for that. I like him like that, <laughs> but what do I do with it now? That doesn't help me. I don't think so. I've already opened that. That doesn't help. That's fine. That's fine. Why not? Let's see what happens to it. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Stupid BJ anyway. What do you think you've built? The prototype of a new generation of sex robots. For the sexually frustrated market? Hi, if I get too carried away and don't want to stop, uh, <laughs> you know, let me know when we get there. Pie? Hmm, must have shut herself off. Let's get on it, baby. This is the longest I've ever held out with an artificial woman, and she seems to have enjoyed it. Pie? Hello? Is it over? You really missed something. Are we almost there? 
Positioning in progress. We're about to dock in Cancun. Don't worry, Faith. I'll be with you in a jiffy. I'll help you save Prune, and then we'll finally be together. Oh. But where's Faith right now? I should keep an eye out for locals. Maybe they saw her. A charming sandcastle. There's no water in the bucket. Hola, gringo. Hola, um... What'll it be? Lefty? Psst! They call me Lefto here. That's how the locals want it. Why? Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten a liquor license. They're a little strange that way. Something about import restrictions and duties. How'd you end up here? Oh... I thought it might be a good idea to leave town when the health department started criticizing my craft beer. I mean, it's not like anybody died from it. And most of the poisoning symptoms disappeared pretty quickly. So that clearly put me in the sights of the deep state. And I had to leave the country for my own safety. New lost wages is a little too hot at the moment anyways. Prune had already taken over half the city. And now they're facing bankruptcy. After your performance at the launch, Pyphone owners swamped the company with lawsuits. And then that lawyer came forward. Somehow she got some inside information. Talk about a scandal. Anyway, she revealed that Faith is much more involved in everything than people knew. And then there was that catastrophe with the explosion at the launch. Oh? If Prune doesn't do some damage control pretty damn quick, the company's finished. What's up with the villa? It belongs to that BJ from Prune. When he got rich, he bought half the island and built that thing there. I guess he's not here very often. He is at the moment, though. Surprise, surprise. And he built a wall to keep the locals away? No. The locals built it so the rich gringos wouldn't bother them. Oh, okay. See you later, Lefty. Lefto. I'm not cold, I'm not hungry, and I'm not Santa Claus either. What do you serve here? Cerveza de los Barbaros. Sounds exotic. It's the new recipe you got me in New Lost Wages, Larry. It's really good. But those nitpicking health officials don't give a damn about the taste. Anyway, I added some salt and lemon and some grated lizard for the color. You have to adapt to local customs. What do you serve here? Serve it. This looks like a green barbarian brew. It's the new recipe you got me a new law. It's really good. Anyway, you have to. Hey, hands off. Why? Last time you used a mixer, I had health services on my ass. Here's a recipe for original cam cum guacamole. To make it, you need an avocado, a sun-ripened tomato, some lemon juice, fresh coriander, and a pinch of salt. Cut everything into small pieces and mix together. Sounds simple enough. There's a small picture of each ingredient. It says here, the cam cum alpaca's favorite food.
Hey, hands off! I just need to mix something up. I can't risk having my brew chain screwed up. My reputation is at stake. Well, at least until they get to know me better. I'll clean it up real good when I'm done. Not good enough, Larry. One will do for me. Hello? Warm out today, huh? Oh, no. Not another gringo. Oh, there goes the neighborhood. I I'm not Ringo. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? <laughs> El Rey. Do the opacas bite? No. But if you get too close, they'll power slam you right into the ground. Nice island. It used to be. But then the gringos came, spread out, and stole all our jobs. We built a wall, and they are going to pay for it. Lefto is all right, but we can't take in all the refugees from new lost wages. All will be as it once was on the day of the prophecy. What do you think of Lefto? He thinks we don't know he's a gringo. We let him believe that. See you later, Elroy. El Rey. I'm afraid they just spit at me. I don't think so. That would ruin the whole bucket and make it unusable. You want me to take that? Just like that? With my bare hands? Of course I will. Way too heavy for me. One cerveza de los Barbaros, please. Uh, coming right up. Let me guess. You want me to put it on your tab again? Ah, uh, I must have forgotten to change money. Well, I had to move to Cancom a little hastily myself and forgot your tab. Let's start a new one. Here you go. Thanks. See you later. Lefto. One thing's for sure, I'm not going to drink that. Where's Becky when you need her? That doesn't help me. I don't think so. He wouldn't like... That doesn't help. That can't be... That doesn't help. Hmm. Lefto's homebrewed beer. At least the beer isn't corroding the mug. Those two things don't... I hate puzzles with buckets. That doesn't help. That doesn't... I don't think so. That's fine. I have a bad feeling. I don't think... I don't think... So. 
I don't think. Hey, hands off. I just need. I can't. My repu. I have a. Oh, yeah? That would be interesting. I'll give you the recipe. Hmm. This might really give my business a boost. Okay, go ahead. Just don't break the mixer. I wonder if it's dangerous to cut this thing open. I think I'll throw it in whole, just to be safe. The recipe clearly states that the tomato has to be sun ripened, so it's no good the way it is now. I don't think so. A pinch of salt. A few dashes of lemon. There's still ingredients missing for the recipe. I still need a fresh coriander. There's still ing I still need a sun ripened tomato, fresh coriander. That's a long way down. My sensors have detected your niveau down there. Hopefully that won't be cooked here. Recipe clearly states that the tomato has to be sun ripened, so it's no good the way it is now. Hopefully, that won't be cooked here. There's nothing growing there that I could take with me. I don't think so. A perfect fertilizer. That worked better. The herbs all look different. I have no idea which ones I should pick. Ow! Something poked me. What? Put something like that in a sandcastle. This is a dangerous neighborhood. Who put something like that in a sandcastle? Now it's in the syringe. I hope the beer doesn't etch its way through. That's fine. Yes, there are pictures of the herbs in here. Let's see. Ah, that should be coriander.
coriander, assuming I correctly identify the herb, that should be everything. According to the cookbook, all of the ingredients are now in the mixer. Now all I have to do is mix everything. Hopefully there weren't any leftovers in there from Lefty's newest beer creation. I don't want to dig it out of there with my bare hands. I need a container to put the guacamole in. I'll put the guacamole in the bucket. Food! All you alpacas, fall in! What do you think of Lefto? He thinks we don't know he's we let. See you later, Elroy. Elray. The whole story hasn't reached its climax yet, but I'm gonna spurt anyway. Okay, that was pretty pungent, I'll admit. I really don't have any use for that. For once, I have to admit, I can't cream because I can't reach. Let's see what happens. Woe is me. He fulfilled the prophecy. He is the man in white. If I'd known that, oh, forgive me. From now on, you shall be known as... Elari. Uh -huh. Now, eat this cactus. Ah, uh, thanks, but I just had cactus this morning. But not as fresh as this one. Why would I eat a cactus? It's part of the prophecy. The man in white must eat the sacred cactus to sharpen his senses so he can face the final threat. Well, well at least that doesn't sound too mysterious. Sure, just hand it over. Here, take it. Hmm, kind of salty. Uh, I feel... Hmm, so these are sharpened senses. The cactus has given you new powers, Elari. You can now talk to the most wonderful beings on Earth. Hey, you want some? Yeah, I want some. Hey, spit in my mouth, you animal! Oh, yes, call me animal names. You camel! Oh, you gotta go getting all carried away again. <clears throat> I think the gringo can understand us, compadre. Ay, Dios mío, what was in that guacamole? Cacapate, cacapate, it's a bottle. As a squid, as a mixer. Then, it's true. The gringo is a larry. We understand one another. Please allow us to introduce ourselves. We are... El Barker and El Ungulado! It is our sacred duty to show the Chosen One the way. A secret passage leads through the fireplace behind the wall at Los Leftos. To open it, you must activate a hidden age-old mechanism. A lever next to the fireplace. Go to the villa and fulfill your destiny. Did you get all that? Jump into the fire, turn to smoke, fly through the chimney. Got it. Close enough. It seems you possess the gift of wisdom. 
Thanks. Hey, Nana. Easy. I could have figured that out myself. That must be the mechanism the alpacas were talking about. A secret passage. This must be BJ's villa. The alpaca said that I must fulfill my destiny. Faith, I'm coming. What's wrong, Pi? You've been so quiet lately. Yeah. Otherwise, people might think I have something to do with you. I could get into the villa through this window. That's fine, just the way it is. What the hell is this thing? find another way into the villa. Now that's a big thing. It's attached to the plant too firmly. I can't get it off. That would only lead to splinters. I don't think so. Let's see what happens. Wow! That thing took all the water out of the plant. Now it's really wilted. It's lighter than I expected. It's very fragile now. I could just tear it out with my bare hands and rip it to shreds, but I'm not going to. I'm not a barbarian. Not a chance. I'm happy to be here. Not a chance. That's fine. That's... That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't. I don't think... I think whoever eats that definitely won't be hungry afterwards. Those two things don't work together. That can't be combined. That doesn't. That would only lead to splinters. That can't be combined. That doesn't have to be rubbed out. Slowly, slowly, not too close. Yeah. That should fit. <laughs> it seems to have liked it. Now I can climb up on it, but the window's closed. I could get into the villa. That giant eggplant filled it right up. Now I can climb up on it, but the window's closed. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. 
That's fine. Now I've got it. I just have to... That was all. Look safe. What? How did I... Oh, who cares? Time to get moving. Faith, I'm coming. Wow. BJ spared no expense. Damn it. I can't get downstairs. This side of the stairs was just washed. And the other one freshly painted. What am I supposed to do now? Faith, I would like to apologize. Wait. Ah, she's not responding. This place looks kind of familiar. Where's a secret switch? Now there's a statue of faith? I have to find that switch. I can't get the painting open. The switch has to be here somewhere. I don't think so. I don't think so. That doesn't help. I've been here before. I guess that was the wrong door. Didn't I turn left? It's hopeless. Faith? Hmm. She's not here. doesn't end like last time. Faith, I'm coming. Ah! Ouch! Larry, help! Ah, uh, awake again? Good. That's the last time you get in my way. Everything was going so well. Nobody knew what a useless windbag BJ actually was. Hey! I could stay in the background, but that's all over now. What? Hold on. I know you're slow on the uptake. What are you doing? Why are you locking BJ up? Because he's totally incompetent. I've given him all kinds of things to occupy his time. He was allowed to choose the colors for the devices, the types of styrofoam for the packaging. He got to stick his face in front of every goddamn camera and act like the big boss of Prune, as long as he deflected them from me. A and I did! He caused chaos at Prune time and time again. The whole thing with the wrongly installed antenna and the Python before last. I only left him unattended for five minutes. Then he kept disappearing, and one morning we had to pick him up from some scruffy dive somewhere in New Lost Wages. And that's how he lost the prototype, and the whole disaster began. In other words, that's how you first came into our lives, unfortunately. But he's the boss. He's a puppet, nothing more. So I hired BJ a hackneyed actor 
After all, there had to be a man at the top. Eventually, I began to enjoy pulling the strings from behind the scenes. But thanks to all this mess you've made, my company is on the rocks, and BJ's time has come. Won't you reconsider our date? Maybe. Yes? No. Aren't you supposed to have an evil plan to use the Pi phone as a surveillance device and to control everyone? Uh, what do you mean? We've been doing that for ages. Everyone sends us their data voluntarily, and the Pi phone sensors record everything. Everything I said? Believe me, I know more about you than I ever wanted to know. And it's going to take more than a little effort to forget you again. But don't worry, I'll manage. Enough! Like I said, what a weakling. How fitting that you two are going to rot here together. No one will ever find you here. BJ was a mistake. I should have replaced him before he got carried away. Hmm, wouldn't that be a job for you? After all, you've proved that you have stamina. I will never let you use me for your dark deeds. You'd only let yourself be distracted by the first skirt you saw anyway. No, Larry. This is where you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs>